Time for a video I know a lot of you have been waiting for. This is how to make my Nerf LPA compressor system. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Cobber and today, as you heard, I'm going to be doing the LPA compressor how-to video. Now, first of all, I don't want to take all the design credit for this. I can make it. That's it. I didn't design this thing. The first person that made this was actually Spenceworks, so go check him out in the description. I want to give credit where credit is due and he did design and make the first pretty much the you could say prototype of this compressor system so all the credit goes to him for this I'm just showing you pretty much how to make it now you can't actually get this model of compressor anymore you can get something very similar however which has the same pretty much uh, diaphragm same compressor same motor same system pretty much except the fitting ports on the top on the top shaft area where you put in the 1 8 fittings are actually different you may have to get some reducers or some different style nipple end fitting pieces to kind of get everything together and get it all sorted and working perfectly I will link the most similar compressor I can find in the description for you to go check out and have a look at but I found this one on like a Facebook marketplace slash secondhand page on Facebook so just keep your eyes peeled on pages like that and scoop up this one if you can find it. But without further ado, let's get straight into the how-to. First, your compressor. You will need a 12 volt, 150 PSI compressor, like or similar to this one. You can usually find them for 10 to $20, depending on where you look. A 90 PSI 1 8 tap cutoff sensor switch, a 1 8 to half an inch nipple connector piece, a set of Nino quick disconnect fittings. Make sure to get at least one with a half an inch reducer fitting to fit in your regulator. A regulator with half an inch female fittings that can handle at least 100 PSI. And a 3S LiPo. I would recommend one with at least 2000 milliamp hours to power the compressor. For the tools you'll need, grab a set of spanners ranging from 8 to 20 millimeters, a large screwdriver, plumbers or teflon tape to create a perfect air seal as well as some solder, Dean's connector, heat shrink and your soldering iron. Start by taking off the plastic cover on your compressor and unscrewing the top shaft and removing the top shaft. Keep these screws safe. Get your nipple fitting and wrap teflon tape around the half inch end. Then, screw tightly into a port in your regulator, depending on what way you want the regulator engaged to sit on your shaft. Then, wrap the Teflon tape over the 1 8 end of the nipple fitting and bolt into the end port of your top shaft. Now wrap Teflon tape around the cutoff switch and bolt on tightly to the side port of the shaft. Lastly, wrap Teflon tape around the Nitto fittings half inch reducer and bolt into the other regulator outlet. All your fittings should now be on your setup. While your cover is off, it's a good idea to lube up the piston to keep the compressor operating smoothly. It will also reduce noise in the long run. If your compressor is like mine, you will need to remove the carry handle and cut off one of the plastic retainers holding it in place. Now you can go ahead and screw down the fitting assembly. Time to work on our wiring setup. I use the wire provided with the compressor to wire it up. First, locate the positive wire. It should have a red clamp on the end of the wire. If not, my top wire was my positive wire. Measure up and run the positive wire to a tab on your cutoff switch. Solder and heat shrink this on. Now run a wire from your Dean's connectors positive terminal to the other tab on your cutoff switch. Final wire is your negative wire that runs from the compressor to the negative tab on your Dean's connector. I left some excess wire so I can put my LiPo where it needs to be. 
If your setup's complete, plug a LiPo in and test it out. If you can hear air leaking out, locate where the leak is, undo the fitting and wrap more Teflon tape around it. And just like that, you have made an LPA compressor setup. Let's see it in some action. And there you have it guys, that's all you need to know in how to make this very simple LPA compressor setup. One of these bad boys can cost even cheaper, how I made it, and will save you lots in the long run if you want to save up for a HPA system, like I'm doing at the moment, but still want to use HPA style blasters. This will be great for short term use, or if you want to lend it off to a player uh, that's new to the hobby and want to try out some awesome air powered blaster action. I know once you go air, you never go back. Um, I'm living proof of that. I haven't used a flyable blaster in NIC for the past five NICs, and I started using air blasters five NICs ago. <laughs> also, I want to say, definitely be patient with these. I know the second time when I put this thing together during the how-to, it didn't actually work properly, and I had to take it apart and um, redo, uh, pretty much re-put it back together and make sure everything was perfect and then it worked flawlessly again. So just take your time with it. You might not get it the first try. Just pull it apart, see what's happening, problem solve. You'll feel so much more accomplished when you do that instead of just commenting down below that mine doesn't work. So guys, this has been part one of how to LPA. You now know how to make your air source. Now it's time to build your blaster. In part two, I'm gonna open up my long strike and show you how to make a HPA slash LPA blaster. So subscribe if you want to see that video and stay tuned to see how that thing operates. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to check out more how-tos on my channel, the playlist will be linked in the description and also the end card. If you want to catch up with me when I'm not making videos, check out my Facebook, Instagram and Discord server in the description as well. And I'll see you in the next one.